With only a few hours left before the 7th Republican president is ushered into office on Tuesday, 24th August 2021, some stakeholders such as the special envoy and international observers have since come forward to give their analysis on the just-ended presidential election. Ambassador Dr. Hussein Komasi from Nigeria says that Zambia has set a good example as it held free and fair elections, especially that it involved removing a sitting president. Um, with the election, the, the manner, the mood, it was well con it was conducted. The people of Zambia came out en masse to vote for a new president. Uh, it is uh, very unusual in Africa for incumbent government to be defeated. But uh, I think uh, Zambia has demonstrated uh, something I call uh, game changing. They use the game changing method uh, in which kind of they want a change of leadership and uh, demonstrated that high morale of uh, electoral majority. They have voted for their president, and the president will be sworn in in the few day, next few days to come. Dr. Komasi explains that the two leaders, outgoing President Edgar Lungu from the Patriotic Front PF Party and the incoming president Haga in the Hijilema from the United Party for National Development, have both set good examples for maintaining peace and harmony, despite the presidential race that set them apart. The interesting aspect of it is the acceptance of defeat from the incumbent president. I think I uh, will give it to him. I will commend him on that. Uh, president uh, Ed Galungu uh, is now he has joined the African uh, statesmanship among the presidents that has defeated, uh, has accepted defeat, and congratulated the incoming. And uh, the area of incoming president, being an entrepreneur and with high skills of talents, with a global connection, I pray all the expectations of the Zambians will be brought on deck so that the Zambians will understand the reason why they make these changes. So, and I am sure President uh, Akainde will not disappoint the Zambians. And Ambassador Dr. Jonathan Daniel, who is a special envoy to Zambia on economic development and investment cooperation, says the country is opening up to the international market as it has become a destination for business opportunities based on the previous election. Uh, I would like to elaborate more on my mission to Zambia as a special envoy on economic development and investment cooperation, most especially on the Zambia Smart City project, which I am engaged by the National Sugar Corporation and uh, the co collaboration with the Zambia Development Agency, ZDA. ZDA. I am overwhelmed with the Zambia, with the development, with the initiative, this initiative of the Zambian Smart City Development. And Dr. Jonathan explains and highlights a number of potential upcoming investment in the near future. Us to know that projects, well meaningful uh, projects, will be established in the uh, smart cities like the. Uh, train, bullet train uh, that would, you know, connect, network the continents in Africa where Zambia would be the hub and from Zambia you can network to different parts of the countries in Africa including world-class international airports that can reach out to, that can fly from the smart city to the different continents in the world. Both men were speaking to Movie TV News in separate interviews in Lusaka on the 22nd of August 2021. Reporting for Movie TV News, Namangolo Mundia.